coffee. Coffee with Tim Black. Hey people, how you doing? It's your man Tim Black. What's up, Wolfpack? Welcome to Coffee with Tim Black. All right, first thing I want to do is make it very clear to everyone watching that I support Kaepernick. I do. I believe that this man's form of protest is something that we need in the discussion. It's what brings light to an issue and makes people talk about it when they'd rather not talk about it. Colin Kaepernick did this at great risk to his money, his security, and his future. You should make note of that, first of all. This is not a publicity stunt. He thinks he's going to get a raise. He may get fired for it eventually. You understand? So that's the first thing. Second thing is this. There are millions of reasons why you should be protesting right now. Do you realize that we had the price of a medical treatment that could save the lives of young people and children all over this country go from $40 per pen to $600? And you said nothing. You're too busy watching some American award show or something. You don't even care that there are people who can't afford the medicine that may save their life. That's right, the EpiPen. Did you know that the Dakota Pipeline is going through right now? They're pushing that through and it's running over sacred land. Land that we said that we had a treaty with the Sioux people to say this is your land. Do what you want. And now we want to take it and use the land and run our pipes over it. See, there are many reasons for us to protest in America. But let's get down to the real point. The real point that people are upset with Colin Kaepernick is not because he protested. They're mad that he said something about the flag or the national anthem. And now they're trying to shoehorn this into some time meaning that he doesn't respect soldiers and veterans. Let's make something clear. America doesn't respect soldiers and veterans. Colin Kaepernick does not respect the system that allows unarmed people to be shot in the middle of the street and nothing happened. You cannot say he doesn't respect veterans just because he doesn't want to salute the flag. That's not the same thing. Did he say, I don't salute, I don't appreciate veterans? Did he say that? Did he come out and say that? No, he didn't. Because that's not what he means. He just wants to bring attention to issues. You know what? You know what? There are people who are going to understand that you can disagree with something America does without hating America. Those people are called intelligent. And then there's other people who believe that you have to go along with everything and never say nothing about anything and just get along. And as long as you have money, they think you're supposed to ignore stuff. You're supposed to ignore injustice across our country. The fact that Colin Kaepernick has the guts to stand up for what he believes, you should be applauding that. Listen, last time, to criticize or to voice your opinion about actions in this country does not mean you hate this country. It means you would like this country to become a better country. You would like us to stop bombing children. You would like our officers not to shoot first and ask questions later. You would like us to respect our treaties with the indigenous people. And you would like for fellow Americans to respect your right to peaceful protest. I'm Tim Black. Follow me on Twitter. Like I always say, don't you let nobody take your cornbread. Coffee. Coffee with Tim Black.